cute. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm actually shook. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see, I look a little bit different. Do you guys like my new hair? I'm just kidding. I did not dye it. I repeat, I did not dye my hair. This is in fact just a lace front wig and I just thought I would have a little bit of fun switching it up, trying to become my alter ego. <laughs> I'm actually just really sick of my natural hair underneath. It looks a mess. So I thought I'd just throw on a wig and just forget about it, you know? But anyways, in today's video, I thought I would come on here again and do another wish testing sort of haul video. I love filming these videos so much because you guys know I have a little bit of a shopping problem, just a tad. And I've done this video with a couple of other websites such as eBay and also iOffer where I basically purchase a bunch of fake designer items and kind of put it to the test, see if it's worth the money, see if it looks anything like the photos that these websites a sort of advertising and today I thought I would put wish to the test because yet again they do have quite a few fake designer items and I've always been quite intrigued I always thought hmm is that actually gonna come and look like the real thing or is it gonna be a complete scam so that is basically what today's video is all about if you guys are brand new here and have never seen my face before make sure you guys subscribe come and join the dinosaur family and also don't forget to basically follow me on all my social media I'm on Twitter Instagram and also TikTok all at Roxaurus same as my YouTube channel, so make sure you guys follow me. But anyways, without further ado, if you guys wanna see what I picked up from Wish, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first item that I picked up from Wish is actually a replica slash dupe for the Chanel Classic Flap Bag. Now this is one of the most iconic Chanel handbags. It's like very quilted, very pink, and just so, so gorgeous. I've gotta say the original bag cost roughly around 4,000 pounds, and your girl has not got that kind of money for a handbag. Bag. So I picked up one from Wish and I just thought why not put it to the test if I can get a similar looking bag for a fraction of the price Obviously, I'm gonna do it. So the one that I got is this one right here now This looks very promising through the packaging. I have not yet looked at it, but it looks pretty good, right? I mean, but my first thought is that it definitely looks really good and this was only 16 pounds So let's crack it open. Let's get it out ah! Wow Ooh, this is cute. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, <laughs> I only looked at it through my viewfinder. Okay, so it is still cute. However, I've got to say the first thing I definitely noticed is that the logo, they try to make it look like the Chanel logo, but as you can see, the CC is kind of got like a weird floral thing on this side. Okay, so basically the logo, they obviously had to do this sort of thing with it so that they wouldn't get sued because if it was an exact copy of the Chanel logo, they could definitely get in a lot of trouble for that. However, it's still a really nice bag, like the actual pattern and the quilting is on point. The shape, I have to say, is actually very scarily surprising and quite impressive because they got it spot on. Let's take a look inside. So you have to twist this thing, which I'm pretty pretty sure it's the same as the original. And then this is the inside. It's quite spacious. It's got two, well actually one zipper and also a little like card holder thing. It is red on the inside. I don't know what the original one is like. It's probably got some kind of like Chanel logo lining or something, but it's not the end of the world. Obviously we're not gonna get that sort of quality and detail for 16 pounds, let's be honest. But on the outside, this honestly looks very, very, good and it's a really good replica. I mean, the only thing that really throws me off is obviously the logo. It's not exactly the same um, and it's not going to be because it's a replica. So let's be honest, but I actually would totally, totally wear this. I think it's really cute. If you're not too worried about people knowing that it's not real, go for it. This is a fraction of the price. It was 16 pounds and the quality seems quite sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. And the color is gorgeous. I love this one. I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Okay. The next item I have is a little bit of a weird one because I don't actually know if there's a original like actual authentic version of this. It is a Louis Vuitton sort of item. Um, definitely inspired by Louis Vuitton. It's got the like monogram sort of logo on it. However, I've never seen anything like this by Louis Vuitton. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really that much of a fan of like brands. I don't really know much about Louis Vuitton and their styles. So if any of you guys are like Louis Vuitton lovers and know what sort of style this is, and if it actually exists, definitely give me a shout down below. Now this little bag right here cost me 16 pounds as well, same as the bag before. And I've got to say it is very small for what it is. And also I'm just looking back at the listing. This is the photo that I basically purchased. It definitely doesn't look exactly the same. Now that I'm 
looking a little bit closer at the pattern, um, you can see that one of the little like logos is actually an orange. Like all of the other ones somewhat look like Louis Vuitton uh, sort of logos. However, that one literally just looks like a slice of orange, which I thought was quite funny. I'm also looking at the original listing of this thing right here. And I've got to say, it's not exactly the same. Like this little detailing at the front is kind of like a weird shape. However, on the listing, it's like a oval that has some sort of word on it. And it definitely looks a lot more legit, I guess. Whereas this is just like very strange. I do really love the color of it. It looks a little bit darker in real life than it does in the photo as well, which is kind of disappointing. However, let's crack the strap out and see how that will look. So this is it. Oh, this is quite cute. Oh, I like this. So the strap, hang on, wait. There's a chain and there's a strap. What am I meant to do with a chain? I guess it's for when you want a strap or if you want a chain instead. That's quite cute actually that they give you an option. Okay, with the strap, it's actually really cute. I think this would be a really handy bag to have for like if you want to go shopping and all you want to take is like a card and your phone. That would fit really nicely into this or even if you're like going to a festival or something, that's like a really handy handbag to have. It is quite spacious on the inside, which is really cool. And it's also got a pocket on the back which you can like put a card in or something right here. I do actually have to say the finish of this isn't really that great. There's quite a few like loose threads as you can see right here. I just literally pulled it out. And also the zipper isn't really working very smoothly, but I'm sure you could like oil it up and make sure that it works. I found another thread. It's literally like loose and hanging out right here. So it's not the best quality. And for 16 pounds, I don't know if I would actually pay 16 pounds for this because although it is quite cute, I probably would only pay like a fiver because I just don't think it's worth it. It looked cute on the website. I thought I could make this work, but I think I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. <laughs> okay, so the next item I have is right here. This is a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller. It's actually a wallet. So this is the photo of the item that I picked up on Wish. This one cost me 12 pounds, which for a wallet, I guess it's not so bad. And it did look really cute on the Wish website. This is the wallet. Let's have a little review. Let's see if this actually looks like the listing. It looks pretty good. It looks exactly like the photo, which is actually quite impressive. So this is actually meant to be a replica of a wallet from Bulgari. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please don't come for me. Yeah, I literally had to like Google how to pronounce that brand name because I've never said it before out loud. I'm pretty sure Bulgari is an Italian brand. It's very like bougie and very expensive. So this is a remake of one of their wallets. The actual clasp is kind of like a snake head and it's so cute. So this is the product from Wish and this is the photo photo of the original wallet that they tried to like recreate and I think it actually looks pretty close. I think the color of the original wallet is definitely a little bit more pinky. This one's a little bit more mauve and also the actual snake head is very close. However, this one is literally just made from like metal and it's painted and the original one, I think it might be crystals, but don't hold me 100% to that. It just looks like it from the photo. Anyways, this is what it looks like when you open it. It's got some card slots, a little like slot for a phone photo, some notes, and it's pretty simple. I actually quite like it. It's very like flat, so I would totally use this. I actually think it's a really nice wallet. And for £12, I've got to say it's not bad at all. It looks a lot like the original wallet. It's definitely a little bit slimmer. Like this one's a little bit more square, whereas the other one's a little bit like longer and wider. But at the end of the day, this is £12 and the original is probably like almost a thousand pounds. So I'm going to go for this one. The next item is yet another handbag. This one is so exciting because when I saw this on the website, I just knew I had to get it. It looks so nice. So with this one, they actually had two different sizes. I'm pretty sure I went for the larger size and I actually paid 15 pounds for this again. So this bag is meant to be kind of like a replica of the uh, Rockstud Valentino handbag. However, the shape is a tiny bit off. So let's just take a look at it. I'm actually really, really excited to see what this will be like. Okay, this is it. This is what it looks like. <gasps> what? the hell this is amazing guys i'm shook i'm actually shook i'm actually shook this is so like heavy and it feels like good quality like it actually does um so i'm a little bit like taken back because everything i usually buy from wish is 
pretty much a fail. However, this is probably like my favorite thing I've ever bought from Wish. This was at 15 pounds and the original bags like this from Valentino usually cost around 800 pounds and probably more. They have the whole like stud and the whole clasp that's very similar to the Valentino rock stud bag. However, the shape of this one is a little bit different because it kind of goes a little bit thinner at the top and it goes wider at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure the Valentino bags don't do that. However, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be referring to a different sort of style. But this is honestly amazing. Like the faux leather feels so nice, sort of like a gummy material. I don't even know how to describe it, but it feels really nice. And then the studs are so cool. They're also matte black. It's so my aesthetic. You know, I'm actually gonna keep this and wear this because it's so nice. So let's take a look inside. This is what the bag opens like. It's just got a clasp and they've even got a little bubble inside. Ooh, it comes with a strap. Oh, I'm so happy. So the strap is really cool as well because it's got like studs all over. How cool is that? Wait, where do you actually attach the strap? I'm confused. There's no like, there's nowhere to attach it. How am I meant to attach it? Is it onto here? I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna attach the strap onto the handles and see what it looks like. Ooh. This is cute. I am totally gonna wear this. My expectations have definitely been exceeded. I'm gonna give this handbag a massive thumbs up. I am loving it. Now, the very last thing that I'm gonna try out for you guys today is a fake Balmain hoodie. Did I say that right? I'm so bad at pronouncing things. And I am actually really, really excited to see what this will look like because the original one is like 750 pounds. And I mean, I don't think I could ever spend that amount on a sweatshirt. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see me rocking this if this is good. Looks kind of promising. It comes in like a massive sandwich bag. However, the bottom was like broken, so <laughs> it had no protection whatsoever. Okay, so it is a hoodie I remembered correctly. I am actually really pleased about that. This is what it looks like. It's got the Balmain print and it says Balmain Paris. Okay, let's break this down. I've gotta say the fabric kind of feels a little bit cheap. It feels a little bit fleecy. And and it just doesn't feel like great quality fabric. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and tell you that this is great. So this did cost me only 12 pounds, which isn't an awful lot to actually pay for a hoodie. However, I did kind of think that maybe this would be slightly better quality. Like there's nothing really wrong with the print. It is kind of very basically just printed onto the sweatshirt. And I don't think it's gonna last very many washes. It's just like one of those prints. But I did kind of expect the hoodie to be a little bit different in fabric. Like I just thought it'd be more cottony rather than just like weird fleece. It is lined on the inside with like the nice fleecy sort of fabric. But again, I don't know how like nice it's gonna actually feel on my skin. So I guess let's just try it on and see how this will actually look on. Okay, so this is the hoodie on. It actually doesn't feel that bad now that I've got it on. It's really nice and comfortable. It's super oversized as well. And it looks pretty legit from like far away. I mean, on the original hoodie, I'm pretty sure the logo would probably be stitched because for the price we're paying, I doubt that it would be like cheaply printed on. It's also got pockets, which is actually quite nice. Um, I think the original hoodies might also have a zipper on the side, whereas this one doesn't, but I didn't really expect it that much detail. All in all, it's not the end of the world. I actually really quite like this. Now that I've got it on, it's not that bad and it was very affordable as well. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. So those are all of the things that I'm gonna try out for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I actually am pretty impressed with some of the items that I picked up from Wish. I was not expecting the results that I got. Like I said, whenever I shop on Wish, I kind of just expect it almost to be a little bit of a fail. And I never really have high expectations because that just leads to disappointment. So personally, I always see Wish as like a fun little activity to just like do a little bit of shopping, see what we can get for our money's worth and also film a haul for you guys so I can review them as well. Let me know down below which one of these things was your favorite. Would you ever purchase anything like fake designer off eBay or Wish or anything like that. I'm actually really super impressed with the last black bag because I was not expecting that at all. And to be honest, this hoodie is actually quite nice. I was a little bit skeptical at first. It didn't really feel that great on the outside, but now that I've got it on, it's not bad. It's actually quite comfortable. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys come and subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media at Roxaurus. But that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!